Microscopic Polyangiitis, Wikipedia Article Audio Microscopic polyangiitis is an ill-defined autoimmune disease characterized by a systemic, posi-immune, necrotizing, small vessel vasculitis without clinical or pathological evidence of necrotizing granulomatous inflammation. Signs and Symptoms Cause Diagnosis Differential Diagnosis Treatment Clinical features may include constitutional symptoms like fever, loss of appetite, weight loss, fatigue, and kidney failure. A majority of patients may have blood in the urine and protein in the urine. Rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis may occur. Because many different organ systems may be involved, a wide range of symptoms are possible in MPA. Purpura and levito racemosa may be present. While the mechanism of disease has yet to be fully elucidated, the leading hypothesis is that the process is begun with an autoimmune process of unknown cause that triggers production of pianca. These antibodies will circulate at low levels until a pro-inflammatory trigger such as infection, malignancy, or drug therapy. The trigger upregulates production of pianca. Then, the large number of antibodies make it more likely that they will bind a neutrophil. Once bound, the neutrophil degranulates. The degranulation releases toxins that cause endothelial injury. Most recently, two different groups of investigators have demonstrated that anti-MPO antibodies alone can cause necrotizing and crescentic glomerulonephritis. Laboratory tests may reveal an increased sedimentation rate, elevated CRP, anemia, and elevated creatinine due to kidney impairment. An important diagnostic test is the presence of paranuclear antineutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies with myeloperoxidase specificity and protein and red blood cells in the urine. In patients with neuropathy, electromyography may reveal a sensory motor peripheral neuropathy. The signs and symptoms of microscopic polyangiitis may resemble those of granulomatosis with polyangiitis but typically lacks the significant upper respiratory tract involvement and in April 2011 approved by the FDA when used in combination with glucocorticoids in adult patients.